Gohan is the strongest Saiyan and it's time for everyone to realize that. Okay, I'm not a complete hater like every other weeb growing in the late 90s crowd. I watched Dragon Ball Z and I vibe with it hard. But I never understood why the community always focused solely on Goku and Vegeta when it came discussing who the strongest character was in the show. Because in my head, it was a completely different person worthy of that title. And it might be controversial but listen, I feel like we need to give Gohan and his beast form some respect. And clearly, the manga for Dragon Ball Akira Toriyama agrees with me here because he has gone on record and said that Beast Gohan is absolutely just as strong as Goku and Vegeta but unlike those two my man Gohan he's got brains to complement his strong Saiyan bloodline and honestly there isn't a lot of that going around in Dragon Ball because you have some characters in this franchise that encompass more than a singular brain cell but they aren't even very many of them and they are really ever powerful enough to make it to the big leagues to be fair that's because said big leagues consist of literal engines and kings of the multiverse but that doesn't mean you can't have like maybe a couple of characters that are shown to use their common sense once or twice alongside being super strong like I love me a good himbo but Dragon Ball which is why I always loved Gohan's character in a way he was direct fall to his father's often goofy nature and it's about time we talk about how his recent iteration as Gohan Beast is not only just as powerful as the older generations but likely to surpass them too so in today's character analysis let's see how far far he can go with the intellects and powers he has combined. So what even is the Gohan Beast? According to what we know so far, it is the name of an evolved form of the potential unleashed form. They both stem from old Kai's unlockability which includes users such as Piccolo, Goten and yes Goku as well. However, the only known user for Gohan Beast is well, Gohan. He's the only one who has unlocked the heightened ability following Piccolo's getting injured during the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie. And it is one hell of a power boost. Toriyama said it was like unlocking the beast hidden inside, going as far as to dub it the definite final Gohan form. The thing is, Gohan was always talented, even from his childhood. I mean, he was able to get the jump on Piccolo when he was still basically a kid and had more tact and strategizing skill than his father. He basically has the raw strength and potential of his father's alien bloodline and holding it's sharper thanks to the training of the various mentors going forward. Couple that with his natural intelligence and education and the kid grew up a lethal warrior. However, unlike his dad, he focused more on his family and education than training regularly that is until Sir Max came along and threatened everything. And just when everything seemed bleak, Gohan Beast arrived. Considering how Piccolo remarked that even he wasn't sure if Goku or Vegeta could take Sir Max on and Gohan Beast straight up defeated him single-handedly. So that does give us an incline on how strong he is and how he fares against other ultra powerful characters. We already discussed how Goku and Vegeta themselves might have a hard time against Gohan Beast because in terms of sheer power it seems like he'd have an edge. But what about something like Golden Freezer who was around the level of Super Saiyan Blue Goku? Well it's been confirmed that during the moral arc Gohan's potential unleashed form was comparable to Super Saiyan Blue Goku therefore Gohan Beast would easily overcome Golden Freezer as well. Now I'm not saying that he's the most powerful character in all of Dragon Ball I mean we still have the gods of destruction angels grand priest and who knows they might give goku and vegeta new transformation when the black freezer arc comes to true fruition so he's definitely not the strongest but he's definitely gone beyond and above his weakened state from before and since he's meant to be the prodigy among prodigies there's still a good chance that gohan won't get stronger and that's the reason why i say that gohan is the strongest saying around